Hello, everybody. My name is Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. I wanted to show you guys a few uh, cool pickups I got at Royal Coins Houston today. Um, Blake, Christy, Uncle B, Luis, thank you guys for constantly supporting my business, giving me coins for my customers. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough. So let's get into the footage, show you guys a few cool things I got today. Hey guys, just got back from a coin shop local to me. Wanted to show you guys a few cool things today. Here is a red field uh, for a piece dollar. I picked this coin up because I really like the toning on it. We zoom in a little bit. You can see it's got some rainbow rim toning on it. Detail's pretty nice. It's probably a 63 if I'm lucky. Um, a lot of rubbing kind of on the high points uh, or a strike I don't even know but this is the reason why I picked this up is because it's not a common day either it's a 1926 S it's kind of hard to see the S on the reverse because of the toning it's extremely hard but there it is <laughs> the S the S yeah the toning skipped right over the S it's kind of interesting but this is the first coin this is something I'm actually gonna send into PCGS uh, I'll get a nice little uh, grade for it just to make it more marketable to my customers and I apologize in the meantime if you hear any of my dogs barking there. It's been a crazy day around the house. A lot of uh, people working and doing stuff. So, But here's the second coin. Um, this is an 1884cc Morgan dollar. Uh, someone just threw this in a generic slab holder or something. or I don't know. It's just it's just something to hold the coin in. Nothing really to show, show off a real grade. I do think this coin is a 63, maybe 64. Um... But they're not really, I mean, they're pretty hot, so I'm, I'm just selling these to wholesalers at the moment. Um, it's a really, really pretty coin, though. It's really flashy, not much toning. People like this blast white feel to it. Um, and they just love the cartwheels. So uh, just a really, really nice piece to pick up. Nice coin to handle. Uh, yeah, so beauty. We move into the next one. This coin, uh, you know, we're kind of going with different slabs at the moment. But this is an 1886 MS-63. Uh, this coin I kind of liked because uh, it looks like a 64 or better when I, when I looked at it. Um, might might need a CAC sticker, gold CAC sticker from Lucky, but I already sold this to somebody, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but it's just a beautiful coin. Uh, I don't mind holding on to beautiful coins even if I don't sell them today, if I sell them tomorrow or a week from now. Uh, it's just a really beautiful blast white coin. Um, yeah, I mean, and I just like showing off different holders. So there's a red field, and then there was uh, that other we weird old generic holder that someone tried to use, and then there's this o uh, this rattler as well. So just a nice coin um, for any newer collector into the Morgan series. You know, common date, but you know it's extremely original and flashy. So really, really cool. Now we will be jumping into a hard date. Currently, this is a 1921D. Morgan Dollar. Got this at the shop as well. So all these are from the same shop. Uh, shout out to Blake at Royal Coins Houston. He's a really, really uh, cool guy, friend of mine. Um, he sold me all these. He just messaged me, hey, come in the shop, or hey, can I send this to you? Always works with me. Always a great guy. Looking for stuff for me and for anybody that he can. You know, he tries to build connections, build a legacy rather than a, a business that can go down in a day. He, he loves to build things and he loves to work with people. So I'm so thankful to have uh, Blake, Christy, and Uncle B, all those people that are at uh, Royal Coins Houston helping me out uh, with this uh, nice group of coins today. But let's get back into it. This is the 1921D. Really, really nice. Blast white as well. I'm going to back it up just a little bit just because it's getting a little dim. But it's a, you know mainly a blast white coin. little dot on the rim. A little dot on uh, where the eagle's feet are the talons but the 21d actually in 64 or higher is extremely hard right now like this coin is selling for what 340 dollars 350 dollars on ebay um if you look at sold comps uh i sold this one a little bit under because i'm not really i don't know i'm not really trying to make a ton of money on these ones i'm just trying to move them provide for my customers provide for other people and so sometimes i don't wait to have every last cent on a coin I'd rather just sell it, keep moving, um, just because I want to have that cash flow, the blood flow of a business going at all times. So 
This is a beautiful coin. I'm glad I was able to sell it. And moving on to random holders again, we have an 1898-0 MS64 Morgan dollar and an OGH holder. Um, this coin is beautiful as well. Just a blast white coin. Um, interesting date. I like the the common date like this one. It's just a really really interesting 1898-0. Um, nice strike, blast white. I mean, I think this coin. Um, on a good day, eh, it's probably just a 64, but it, it's just really, really flashy. Once again, it's good for a collector that likes OGHs uh, or wants to get started getting into coins. Now, this is probably like a $100, $110 coin. Um, it's got a little chip up here on the holder, but for the price I sold it at to uh, a dealer, he's like, oh, that's cool, you know, it's all right. I'll work with it, but, you know, just a beautiful, beautiful coin. And now, lastly but not least, uh, we have two uh, coins, common dates, back to back to Blast White's NGC this time. Uh, this is a 1904-0 uh, Morgan dollar, you know, flashy, sold this coin today too. A nice Blast White coin, people like those right now. They like the Blast White or they like the really, really nice toned stuff. Don't get in between, okay? So it's just Blast White or really, really nicely toned. If you get anything in between, like ugly toning or... Uh, not a really good strike, you know, any of that stuff in between is just not worth your time. Uh, this coin is flashy, uh, just an original coin, you know, nothing too crazy about it. Um, just something for uh, a collector to fill their set. And there's this last coin, which scratch is a head scratch. This is 1896 graded AU55. Someone thought, I'm going to send this coin in. It might have been for a keepsake or something, so I don't really know the full story, but. Uh, you know, what what's going on? You know, it's like, uh, why? Why, you know, because let me just break it down for you. Okay, say they spent, you know, say they said they submitted this like a couple years ago. Okay, they spent 25 bucks on this coin. Say they submitted it regular. Okay, $30 or $40, right? So you're automatically in the hole. What? $65? $60? I'm going to be selling this coin for $49. So, like, that's where my head scratcher moment came in. Maybe they thought it'd be better. Maybe they wanted to keep it because it was the grandfather's or something. But when this happens, it's just a head scratcher. I mean, even if they sent like in a bulk sub, bulk subs, uh, they, there's a lot, it's a cheaper grading fee, crappier graders in my opinion. But I mean, it's a it's a cheaper fee, but still, like, I mean, you spend thirty dollars, twenty five dollars, and then like twenty bucks in grading fees or fifteen dollars in grading fees and waiting for it. I mean, that's still 45, 40 bucks. You know what I mean? Like, didn't have time to list it. So, I mean, it's just an interesting coin. Like, if you ever have an opinion or uh, you want an opinion from somebody else, like, ask them. You know, like, ask a dealer. Ask uh, someone that's knowledgeable in the space. Ask a friend, even, you know, or even look up a lot of information online. Because stuff like this, uh, it hurts me sometimes. It may be sentimental, like I said, but a lot of people do send stuff in thinking, Oh, this is MS, and I'm gonna make some money, and uh, it's a good investment. And doing this isn't, you know, in terms of uh, if for for stuff like this, when I get it in, like I have a coin over here, a little bit in worse shape, right? But like, you know, 1884, I think 1884P. Why would I send this in? You know what I mean? It's the same thing with this one. If it's not mint state, um, and you're not getting a good rate for for grading, I would not submit stuff like this. You know what I mean? So just a tip for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like. Uh, comment what you thought. What is your favorite coin kind of of the bunch? And make sure to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video.